ex-boyfriends, late night purchases, we all wish we could hide from our mistakes. While I can't offer solutions to either of those problems, I can help you hide your errors in Excel. In this video, we are going to learn two different methods for replacing formula errors. Let's get started. For example, here we calculated revenue per unit for each product by dividing total revenue by units sold. As you can see, we have two divide by zero errors because the shortcut mousepad and the notebook have zero units sold. And when you divide a number by zero, it results in the divide by zero error. We went to clean this table up and set the revenue per unit equal to zero if there haven't been any units sold yet. One way we can replace all these errors is by using GoToSpecial. To replace these errors using GoToSpecial, select the entire data table, press Ctrl G to open the Goto dialog box, press the special button to open GoToSpecial, and now we need to select the errors so that we can replace them. To select errors, select formulas and then uncheck all of the boxes except for errors. Now just hit OK and as you can see, GoToSpecial automatically selected both of the divide by zero errors in our table. To replace these errors, all we have to do is enter the value we want to replace them with and then hit Control Enter to fill that value in all of the selected cells. In this case, we want to set the revenue per unit equal to zero if zero units were sold. So I'm going to enter a zero and then press Control Enter to fill the zero in all of the selected cells, not just the active cell. And just like that, all of the errors in our data table are now zero. One thing to note about using GoToSpecial to replace errors is that it hard codes the replacement values and overrides any formulas that were in the cells containing errors. So if we were planning on updating this data sheet with any new orders that came in and needed this data table to automatically recalculate the new revenue per unit value, we would not want to use this method because the errors we replaced would remain zero. So if you don't want to override formulas when replacing errors, you need to use the if error function. The if error function scans the value argument and returns the value of error argument if an error is detected or returns the value argument if no error is detected. This formula is so powerful because we can enter formulas as the value argument and then enter the value we want to return if the formula results in an error as the value of error argument. Let's look at how to use the if error function in our example. To use if error to replace these divide by zero errors with zero, all we would have to do is select the first revenue per unit value, enter the if error function, and now we need to enter our formula as the value argument. So I'm going to divide total revenue by units sold. Finally, we need to enter the value we want to return if our formula results in an error as the value of error argument. So I'm going to enter a zero and then enter the function. As you can see, the value is equal to zero instead of the divide by zero error, and we can fill this formula down the column to replace the remaining errors. Now if we add new orders to our data tab, all the revenue per unit values will automatically update because we didn't override any formulas. So not only can you replace errors with number values using if error, but you can also use it to replace errors with text values. Let's look at one more example. Here we have order numbers and are looking up the customer that corresponds to each order number using the VLOOKUP function. As you can see, we have two NA errors because these two order numbers don't exist on our data tab. We want to clean up this table a little bit and replace these intimidating NA errors with the phrase does not exist so that it's clear that these orders do not exist. To use if error to replace these errors with a phrase, I'm going to select the first customer that we are looking up and then wrap the VLOOKUP function inside the if error function by entering if error before VLOOKUP in the formula bar. Now we just need to enter the phrase that we want to return if the VLOOKUP function results in an error as the value of error argument. So I'm going to enter the phrase does not exist in double quotations to return a text value. Now we can just fill this formula down the column. And as you can see, both NA errors now say does not exist. To wrap up, we learned how we can replace formula errors in Excel using the if error function in GoToSpecial. Replacing errors can help clean up our worksheet from unavoidable errors, but we do need to be careful that we aren't just hiding our mistakes. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel for more.